Welcome to the tutorial on the Fractal Explorer. Like all the other demos, this can be found at www.viznos.com. Now the Fractal Explorer is a personal favourite of mine. The first reason for this is it really shows how mathematics can be a thing of beauty. In this case, this incredible shape is produced by a few very simple rules. Making small changes to the variables will completely change the shape. The second reason is because it highlights a problem that's very common in school mathematics. That is, a student sees a complex problem, they don't understand it initially, and they immediately hit a brick wall. Now by showing something like this diagram, which is actually incredibly complicated looking, if you asked someone to describe how it's made, they would struggle. But if we start breaking down the steps, it actually becomes a lot easier. So I'm going to reduce the iterations. So if I reduce them to 7, we're already seeing a slightly easier diagram to understand. 6, okay, it's starting to be clear now. 5, 4, 3, finally 2, and I'll reduce the size. And so now you can start to see what's really happening. The actual first pattern is just a cross. Second one, the cross drawn a heavy branch. Third one, cross drawn again. Each time the cross is getting half the size. So immediately you're seeing, they actually, what seemed incredibly complicated wasn't. It just had to be broken down. Third reason is, this um, activity is just packed full of maths. We consider different angles, we're using different numbers, we use decimals, whole numbers. You see the effects of multiplying by decimals, you see the effects of multiplying by numbers greater than 1, the effect of multiplying by numbers less than 1. Um, it goes right across the board. This could be a primary school activity, identify the different shapes, equilateral triangles. You have a rhombus there, there's trapeziums, there's hexagons all kinds of different maths. The final reason why I like this activity is because it's one that really allows students to explore for themselves. They can move the sliders around, they can look and find different patterns, then they can look and say, well, why is that happening? What's this going to do? Make predictions. And this is really what maths should be about, making discoveries themselves. So here's students' challenges. As you can see, we have the pattern from earlier, and it's a square. What would the students need to do to create a pentagon? How many branches would you need? A pentagon has how many sides? Let's try that. What angle? Would it be more? Would it be less? They're going to find these things through trial and error. But as you go through all the shapes, so from a pentagon onto a hexagon, onto a heptagon, onto an octagon, hopefully they'll start to realise the types of calculations you need to find this angle and how many branches you need. You may have noticed that the logo for Viznos was actually created using the Fractal Explorer. The logo is actually representing a brain. Students learn most effectively when they start to make connections. All the demonstrations of Viznos are designed to make these connections. They're also designed to actually engage the left hand and the right hand sides of the brain. This is very important. In this activity, students can enjoy working with different colours and creating their own incredible designs. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, a second video will be going up soon, which will be talking about what the actual controls do. Thanks for watching.